Hello, peoples. I, uh... I now know what I'm doing, sort of. <laughs> sort of, kind of, maybe. I asked the Dito what the fuck I had to do. Apparently, I got to go back to the beginning of the damn game. Can I warp there, or do I gotta use Birdman? Yeah, I think I gotta use Birdman. Air oh, Birdman! You know, you're like the only person still here. What are you even oh, doing here? I'm just... Yeah. Grief, because your chick died, apparently. For, at no fault of my own, because I, what, uh... I stepped onto one bit of land before I stepped onto another. I don't fucking know. <laughs> well, that just, uh, will you fuck off? Well, I'll go the long way around the chest. Hey, you think I'm just be able to talk to him now that I've, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just be able to talk to him. Say, hey, I don't want to go all the way up there. There's got to be an easier way up there than what I'm doing. There's probably like some staircase that I haven't seen because I'm stupid. Now, granted, as I've said before, I don't pay too much attention to the lore and shit. Um, and I also don't pay too much attention to the storyline. Um, I tend to sometimes skip things people are saying because they talk so damn slow. I think that when From Software gets uh, voice actors, the one bit of art direction they give them is talk as slow as possible. <laughs> but, um... Uh... There could be clues I miss, like, um, as far as, like, because, like, like, I was, ah, stop it. I was complaining before about how, um, the way the quests work in this, you have to basically know exactly what order to do every single fucking thing you could possibly do in the game in order to get the shit to work out right. Um... And I don't think that's good game design. There, there's some things in these games that I hate. But I won't say are bad game design. They're just choices by the developers that I don't agree with. And one, like one of them would be the, the um, emphasis as the series went on on larger oversized swords and whatnot. As much as I really don't care for that shit. Um, I can't say it's a bad game design because if that's, you know, the direction... They want to take with everything. That's their own damn choice. But. The one thing I will say is very bad game design. And does not add anything whatsoever to the gameplay. Is how difficult it is to figure out exactly what the fuck you're supposed to do on quests. Yeah. But, to be fair, there could be things I'm missing. It's very possible that, um, eh. it's very possible that, uh, if you listen, if you pay really close attention to every little thing someone's, the people say, you can get an inkling of where you need to go next to complete a character's storyline. Um, but even then, another problem is that even if you do know, 
it's still kind of hard because by the nature of the game yeah i need to go to lundo uh by the nature of the game um you're gonna make it a ways into one area make some progress get some goodies and whatnot and then you're going to turn around and decide, okay, I don't think I can make much more progress here. I'm going to go explore this next area. You know what I'm saying? So even if you know what order you should be doing shit, it's still difficult because, um, like, like say you have to make it all the way to the end of one area before doing anything else in order to complete a character storyline without them biting the big one. Uh... <clears throat> what if, like, okay, what if, like, uh, to complete, um, Priest Chick's storyline, which I'm, I'm not all that broken up over her being dead for the simple fact that she was a bitch to me, <laughs> and then wanted to turn around, oh, my savior, but anyway, um, what if to complete her storyline, you have to go all the way down to fight Nito before doing anything else? I don't know. But how the hell am I supposed to do that? I mean, you couldn't because you don't have the fucking gates unlocked yet. So, I just, I feel like, unless there's like little clues that I'm, and if there are, if that's the case, if there are clues within the, uh, uh, dialogues, then okay, uh, I'll 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 uh, consent, submit whatever to that, and say okay, then that's okay. But I just don't know. Like, <clears throat> I don't like it. That's just my opinion. I don't think that it's good game design. I don't think. I think that maybe some people do think that it's fun to you know, pour over the game a dozen times and then compare with each other what order they did things in order to figure out how, uh, like, I don't know, like, I, I could see there being a bit of fun and, like, you know, if there's, like, a storyline that's, like, difficult to have happen a certain way. Um. And, like, most people that play through the storyline through like a character's story arc has it happen one way and then all of a sudden like on a forum or some shit one person says oh but my character survived or my character did do 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 and then everyone's like comparing notes and stuff I can see that kind of fun community effort kind of thing I get that but I just don't think that it's good game design I don't think I think that good game design you should be able to, on your skill alone, uh, complete something on your very first try. It, I'm not saying it should be easy. It should, you know, difficulty's fine, but you should be able to complete something on your first try without prior knowledge. I guess, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, prior knowledge. You shouldn't need prior knowledge to be able to do stuff. I don't really care for that. It makes me think of like uh, some of the old. Oh, hi, friend. It makes me think of some of the old Silent Hill games. As much as I love that series, I always hated the way that um, <clears throat> uh, some of the most obscure, meaningless shit ended up affecting what ending you got. Like I remember in the first one, there was one single item that you had to get. I think it was like a blood pack or something. And you had to use it during one very specific battle, or the cop chick dies. And I always liked her. Uh, and I just, I don't think that's okay. I don't think that, you know, getting a good ending should be that obscure. You know what I'm saying? To some people, it might be. Like, like I'm not trying to put force my opinions on anyone. To some people, it might be fun... Uh, to play through a game several times, trying out different things to find different endings and all that shit. And maybe some people might not be nearly as... What the hell's that shit down there? They're like some green shit. 
Is that Phalanx? Phalanx, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, buddy? Oh. Are you gonna explode and pop your zit on me? I'm worried you're gonna pop your zit on me. I'm still worried he's gonna pop his zit on me. Alright. I hear feats. Now I hear grunting. Who's grunting? Uh. Hi. There's a very odd rat. And you fell through the ground. Awesome. Um, now, I, I, I almost did that, I think. Am I the only one that thinks I almost did that? I sort of almost did it. I can't tell if there's, like, a part to get onto that from somewhere else. Let me go back outside and look at it. Yeah, there's no way to get to that. So... I gotta make a jump. How is it the first time, like, almost made it? What is happening? Why can't I jump? Why can't I not? Arg. Arg. Argy arg. Arg gargy garg. Okay, fuck it. I don't care. Probably just a soul of a fat dick or something. Wait, there's someone up there. Which means I can get up there. Alright. You know what I'm saying? Are you following my logic? Oh. Hello. Ah, 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 ah. I see, I see person up there. Aren't you that person from the, uh, uh, second game? What the fuck does a dried finger do? Okay. Well, I got it, so, there. I swear to God, you're a person from... Are you good or bad? Because the person in the uh, second one, the bird lady person, um, you save her, and then she asks if there's anything 
she can offer you in return with her bare crotch two inches from your face. I always thought that was a little weird. <laughs> um... Okay. Ah! I see you. I gaze upon you. Okie dokie. Ah. I I'll get you later, okay? Anyway, as I was saying before, there could easily be people that actually enjoy that, and that's fine. I just don't agree with it. It's not like with stuff like the um, oversized swords, where it's just something I really don't like. This is something I like. I legitimately don't agree with from a design standpoint. I don't think that she like that should be that complicated. Because it's it's not a matter of being difficult. It's a matter of literally just not knowing. The, it, um, like I said, unless there's like uh, contextual clues that I'm missing, which given how little I pay attention to the storyline, there very well easily could be. <laughs> but it just seems like there's literally no way of knowing if a choice is the right one. And I don't care for that. I don't much like that. Egg verma poo. I got my egg verma poo poo. Right. Hi. I'd probably wear that if I was a lady person. Or if I was playing with David, he'd make me. There's a fog gate. Okay, so you're not a nice one. Hey, get off me. Ow. <laughs> I fell down.
if I could like drop and shimmy my way into that at the same time. No, I can't. Oh well. Actually, I think I could. It looks almost like I could. Stop it. Oh. All right, let's try it all over again. Oh, that was, that was a bullshit is what that was. It was a bullshit. I see any other bullshit. continue. Continue upon my predestined path. There's not even really a point to going through here, is there? As there. I'm trapped. I'm very trapped. I am very much so trapped. I am boned and trapped. I am trapped and boned. There we go. Get you open. Lockbox contraption. I thought that was going to be the shortcut back to the thing of a jigger. You're going to be a boss. Oh. Hello, Phoenix. How you doing? Are you as weak to fire as you used to be? Nope, not even remotely. Well, I'm you know, I'm glad that you got over that weakness, my friend. I'm glad to see that 
you got over that. Wait, fire orb does it. Why do I even still have this equipped? Huh? Why do I even still have it equipped? Someone want to explain that to me. I wonder why my fire's not doing as much splash damage as it usually does. Damn it. So, why were you protecting the statue? Like, is there a reason? Or is that just where y'all hang out? What the hell is this? Ew, that made a squishy noise. Not much caring for that there ambiance there friend can we just go back to the silence if it's all the same to you what the hell did you just do Am I supposed to be frightened? Cause I am. I'm not. I don't like this music. Acid surge. Okay. shortcut I could probably level up Are the flankies gonna be back? Yeah, the flankies are back. Oh, there's a well. 
well, well, well. <laughs> uh, is there a reason you're here? Hello. I got an annexer key. I can go to the annexer. Can we find a corner where you guys will like fall through like at the other place? So what does this do? I'm happy for you. I wonder if I should go back into those tunnels and see if there's any more items behind the illusion walls. Ow. Why? What? Mm. Right, now I need to figure out where that item fell. the annexer key. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna use that and don't fall into the damn hole. A 
I did. Did, did you just. Okay. Valve fucking dicks. Okay. Uh, black cleric robes. I kind of like those pants. Which ones were they? Didn't they say cleric things? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Those are fancy. I feel like a fancy man. It's probably aren't even the ones I got. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. <clears throat> uh, that's not a... Let's go. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> So the item in question should be over here. I think the item ain't here. Is what I think. I can't even see where the rope is that I cut. It's up there, so I gotta go through here. Alright, open. Ah, there you are. It's a fucking humanity. It's a fucking humanity. Well, you know what? Let's use some humanities. Let's get some kindling. I think I'm gonna need it. Might as well go full bore. Was there anything I missed up in the annexer? Oh yeah, I don't think I ever went this way. Oh. Or this way. Is this that item I was trying to get? Yeah. Hey, you welcome Repia. Unable to 
wield it with the presented stats. How am I unable to wield it with the presented stats? Oh, I need intelligence. That's that looks like it'd be a weapon for if you, because I do think I might play through this game again sometime. Don't know if I'll record it, but as a sorcerer, because frankly I've found Pyromancer to be wildly disappointing in this. Dark Ember. Okay. Hold on. Ow. Damn it, I said hold on. I'm busy. I always forget to unequip things. I always forget. What's my uh Glaranthoranthi? There we go. Thought my shit was recovering slow. All right, let's go through this door I done did opened. All right, no, wrong one. The door I done did opened is over here. Oh, you're big. You're a biggin. Say no. And done. What is it? Oh, hi. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. I'm... If thou hast been stepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desire shall be requited not. Uh... Thou must return it whence thou came. This land is peaceful. Its inhabitants kind, I beg of thee. Plunge from the plank. Plungy, plungy.
Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> well, this may seem like a cop out on my part, and for that, I apologize. But when I play Souls games, I have a rule against attacking someone who doesn't attack me first. That's just a rule I have anytime I play a Souls game. So, I guess I won't be doing that battle. I still need to go fight, uh, Artie. Artorius of the Dirt. Uh, how, did th how did that happen? I'm going to say a little prayer that somehow that happened to David too so I don't feel as bad. <laughs> Put springs in my face. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what. Let's see what my options are. All right, what are my options currently? Uh. Uh. Can't put anything on the sword because I've already, like, got something on the sword. <clears throat> Come on, jumpy arty. He did a three-er. He did a three-flipper. 
I didn't know he could do a three flipper. I, he, I thought he was about to swing at me, but he took a step forward and then swung at me. <laughs> oh dear. Well, see, how is that going to help me? Okay, let's try this. Let's just give it a go. Let's just give it a go. It's going to make me all slow. But it says defense and resilience. So maybe that means my shield will be able to block more. More tink tink tinks before I'm all, err, I'm staggered. You done did stagger me. Well, I guess you get a hit now. Or 12. Let's see how this shit works. Oh, I'm I'm slow, slow. I thought I was just gonna be kind of slow, but I'm slow, slow. And I don't think you can parry him. I'm willing to bet you can't. Oh, that does not last long at all. That does not... <laughs> Let me guess it's going to drain my health like a motherfucker and give me like two points of bonus damage or something. Yep, pretty much.
That, yeah, that should hit me. Makes total sense for it too. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this guy doesn't like me. And I'm thinking that I'm going to end the episode. And I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grind. So, I'll see you when I've, like, leveled up ten times. And then we'll see how very little of a difference it makes. <laughs>